Good morning guys and girls and welcome back to Twisted Koi. What have we got today? Well, we've got a lot to do today. We've got a lot of tidying up to do. Filters to clean. Blah de blah de blah. Uh, got to finish off bits in the filter house. Because uh, we've got Katrina Hodgson and Dave is coming down tomorrow. Uh, they're coming to pick up a couple of the fish they bought from Barry or from Claire that belonged to Barry should I say while we're on the subject of Barry uh, Claire will be sending me some photos and a video of what is now clean and it was Barry's main filter it's the Awaze Biotech 36 screen matic with the uh, Bitron 75C UV uh, which is attached to it as well uh, so I like to say when I get the vid uh, photos in the video I will attach them to this video at some point uh, she would like £350 for it which is a good price for the filter that it is and if anyone is interested just drop a note down in the comments and I can then get you to liaise with Claire with that one because that is in Salisbury with that said I'm going to flick the camera around so we can have a quick look at the fish and then I will get on with today's jobs and come back to you later. So, main pond is looking happy as always. Thinking I'm just about to feed them while they can wait for the minute. They're looking good. Really happy with the growth and the progress of these. And so we've got Chris Chris Carey from Carey's Koi coming down tomorrow. He's coming down to pick up that Makashi there. Cracking fish. And we're also going to be visited tomorrow by uh, Gary and Kaz from uh, Pond and Garden. They're coming down for a visit to see what we're at. And like I say, we've still got a few of Barry's fish left to go there on eBay at the moment. Little ones in here are doing well. Still variation of sizes in there. Mind your own business is doing well. Little piggies in here have been fed. They're doing extremely well. Only thing to do is to finish off this cover properly so I can flap it. And I'm waiting to find the right spotlights, but I'm going to get a couple of LED spotlights to actually pin on the wall uh, for the tank lighting instead of this big unit with two of these LED strip lights in. But my homemade easy pod working really well and this gets cleaned on a daily. I mean look at that. I'm just about to put it on a clean actually. So turn the pump off. Let it settle. And I put my homemade cleaning pipe in. Put my air on. Now watch this folks. Yeah. This is why I use a twizzling stick because it cleans the front of the, the screen off first. Now all that will drop to the bottom now if it doesn't go out the overflow. Give the screen a good clean off of all this blanket weed. But look at the amount of crap coming out of there. And as you saw, the pond is crystal clear. It doesn't have to have the EA stamp on it to be able to work effectively. On that note, I'm going to finish taping up my lagging and get on with the next job. That job being feeding the crazy Mexican. You want dendens? Do you want dendens, pup? Do you, do you want dendens? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Do you want your dentons? Yes, you want your dentons. Come on then. 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 Well, guys, that was all the recording I managed to get done. I fed the dog, and then things just went out the window. I had so many jobs in the planned out for today, and this and that, and this and that, and yeah, I managed to get a lot done without not doing a lot. So I've managed to get the filters cleaned, uh, and I've managed to get some shit done, but not a lot of recording. I didn't manage to get the uh, the new airlift made for the for the front pond. If I get a chance tomorrow, I might do it, but it's going to be bedlam here tomorrow. Like I say, we've got Katrina Hodgson coming down, and Gaz and, Gaz and uh, Kaz are coming down from Pond and Garden, and we've got crazy Chris Carey from Carey's Coy coming down. So, yeah, it's going to be fun and games tomorrow, so hopefully there'll be plenty of footage for you, for you tomorrow. But on that note, I'm going to spin you around a second, and I'll explain what I'm going to talk about next. There we go. Well, as you know, if you've been following my channel and you watch my shorts, thank you for all my subscribers that do stick with me. Thank you very much. I do know that a lot of you out there aren't subscribed. Right? It doesn't take much to just click that little thing down there. I, I post regular videos. But anyway, I digress. As most of you know, I lagged my pipes. And today I went in and I foil taped them and I think I'm going to have to put another layer. I have no problems with the uh, the in or the out of the homemade skimmer because that comes in four inch through the floor and then down up through that bend there. But the stuff that is coming from the main bottom drain hits that pump there and then comes up and look at the condensation on the silver foil tape and that's all the way up until you hit the tempest and then obviously because of the warmth in here it then doesn't come out the top for some reason but as soon as it comes down to this area here where it goes back outside I've got condensation here so I'm going to have to put uh, another couple of layers of lagging on, I think, just to uh, try and stop that from happening. As uh, the shed was built out of recycled materials and uh, I've got areas that are going a bit soft and squidgy. So I want to try and keep on top of any type of moisture whatsoever. So on that note, I will give these little piggies their last scoop of food for the evening. Here we go, two scoops for them. One scoop for the outside tank. And that's... Uh, Takazumi Junior Premium. Two mil pellet. Let's see if I can do this with one end. And what we'll do, if you give me a second, because we now have light. So, yep, just before I put the cover on top of these. Now you get a sprinkler as well. I'm just waiting for a bit, a bit of 1.2 crumb for the smaller ones. But they know what it is. They're straight on it. So then what I do, last thing I do is I turn the air up. A little bit more on each air stone. And this is the only tank outside that gets covered. This is well, the only water, vessel of water out here that gets covered. And that's not because I got a heater running in this one. It's just that I want to try and maintain a natural consistency. So there isn't so many uh, 
fluctuations up and down. And that's that all shut up for tonight. They've been sorted for today. They've eaten enough for today. Yes, you'd eat more, wouldn't you, little piggies? Oh, don't let Susan hear me say that. She doesn't like her babies referred to as piggies. <laughs> She's going to kill me when she watches this one. And on that note, I'm going to say I will catch you lot tomorrow.